Good afternoon. Welcome to introductory wheel work. Before you can get started making great pots on the wheel, you've got to do a few basic things. Number one of which is you need your tools. Come on in. Some basic tools. You're going to need some water, a bowl of water. You're going to need a sponge, a little yellow sponge. You're going to need probably a scraper that looks like this. You're going to need a pin tool. Pin tool. This is called a Williams tool. These are great too, and I'll show you how these are used later. And this wooden stick is great also for doing a whole number of things. So back off a little bit. I want to show you the, the wheel basically. First thing you'll notice we have a bunch of bats. This is a bat. It mounts on these two little pinholes on here. You want to make sure your bat is relatively clean on the bottom so there's no lumps of clay to create wobbliness, etc. They mount like that. The wheel itself has an on-off switch. When the green light is on, it is on, green light off. Always want to turn the wheel off when we're done. In addition, it's got a foot pedal. This foot pedal acts like the accelerator on a car. You want to go fast, all the way to the bottom. You want to ease up. You modulate the pedal. It's a rheostat. You can change the direction of the wheel. Notice I'm traveling in a counterclockwise direction. I'm right-handed. I prefer it like this. Some people who are stronger on their left actually like to change the wheel. This switch over here reverses the direction, so now it's going clockwise. You're going to have to experiment, but generally right-handed people like to go counterclockwise. Maybe left people go the other way. First thing I would do, you're going to get a bat. It's going to be a little wet, or I mean a little covered with clay. Notice I just got it moist. I didn't dump a lot of water in. I take this scraper tool, and I want you to notice this. If this is like a clock with midnight or noon being up here and six being at the bottom, nine o'clock on the left, six, three o'clock here, I like to operate, because I'm right-handed, with the tools between basically three o'clock and six. What I mean by that is that I'm not reaching across the wheel over here between six and nine to do work. I'm not doing work up here. Etc. I'm working in a way that is ergonomically correct and it does so so I'm not throwing the tool around. So I'm scraping and I scrape all that excess clay off. Okay? I tend to keep my tools in a bucket adjacent to the wheel and I keep a lot of these sort of used towels around because you want to get this dry-ish. Clean that off. All right, once that's dry, you're ready to mount your ball of clay. This clay has been pre-wedged. It's already wedged. It's in a ball form, no air inside. And I take this clay, make sure it's got good moisture level, nice and sound, not too soft. First move I'm going to do is I'm going to smack it down, bam, right in the middle. My next move is to take kind of this portion of my hand and I'm going to bump this up. Notice I'm going very slowly. I'm bumping the clay into sort of a, a cone shape. But what I'm really trying to do is accomplish a couple of things. I want to seal the clay down to the bat, and I want to create this cone. And I'm trying to paddle the clay largely to the center. And you can tell it's centered because it's basically not lumping around side to side. Now, if it were not centered, it would be obvious. You could see that's not centered. But I want it in the center, so again, I go to this patty cake thing. You can see I'm using the whole portion of my palm there. Patty cake, patty cake, patty cake. Okay. So, largely centered. This is when I wet my hands. You need an ample amount of moisture in your hands. And I'm going to use this right arm, and I'm going to use this kind of heel of my hand, and I'm actually going to anchor it inside of my leg right here on my thigh. And the reason being is that I'm pushing. I'm using this like a pusher. And I'm maintaining kind of a firm position there. All the while, I've got this left hand acting as kind of a crown over it. And I'm trying to tell that clay, I'm forcing it to go to one position. Okay. Now, it's not perfect, a little bit off. I'm going to trim. Again, I'm trimming from between 3 and 6 o'clock. I like to hold the tool two hands. Trim off that excess. I usually keep a little bucket where I keep it. 
Moisten my hands again. Make sure you've got moisture because I want that clay to slip through as I force this into center. Notice I maintain that sort of kind of cone shape. And voila, notice my hands are not bouncing around. That tells you the clay is largely centered. Now, if it were not centered, look at my hands. Wonk, 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 wonk. That's not centered. So you need to be forceful here, and you need to tell the clay to go to the center. Now, notice I didn't ever drive at the speed of light. I always maintained kind of a measure of speed on the wheel to accomplish what I wanted it to do. All right? High speed is really only for experts. In fact, I seldom drive at full speed. So I'm always trimming my little foot here, keeping that clean. All right. Do we have more time or shall I stop here? Okay. There's your introduction to centering and the tools and the basic use of the wheel. I'll catch you next time. Boop.